Proficient pilots input small aileron bumps to keep the wings level, and therefore maintain straight lines. Aileron bumps are also used to slightly bank the wings to cause the airplane to gradually drift to the left or to the right. Being a smaller input, the bump needs to be applied and returned to neutral smoothly. Quickly jabbing small bumps will typically produce little or no response. Therefore, if you find yourself inputting a lot of corrections, and seemingly not getting the response you're looking for, you are most likely inputting the aileron bumps too quickly. A proper aileron bump only slightly affects the wing, and thus allows gradual course corrections without losing altitude. There is therefore no need for up elevator after a bump. As a rule, if you don't get the result you were looking for, simply apply another bump. However, since the effect of a bump is slight, a pilot should pause a few moments to see its effect, and whether or not another bump is really needed. Note that a right bump is not automatically followed by an opposite left bump, or vice versa, if the airplane is heading where you want it to go. In short, determining the need for each bump is ultimately based on seeing the need for it. In order to recognize deviations off of the intended path early, you must keep asking yourself, where is the airplane heading to? Projecting the path of the plane ultimately helps a pilot catch deviations earlier, therefore need fewer corrections and allow more time to think ahead of the plane. The bump technique applies to small course changes up to roughly 20 degrees. If you need to make a larger course change, a deliberate turn procedure involving both aileron and elevator will be required. Take great confidence in knowing that whenever there is a doubt, you can bump the aileron to alter the plane slightly and gain a better perspective. This will prove especially valuable when low to the ground, such as during landing. Altogether, small brief bumps of aileron help us fly straighter lines and make small course changes without over-controlling, thereby reducing the number of corrections we have to make. With experience, pilots become able to detect deviations before others can even see them. And as a result, their bump corrections become so small that the casual observer can't even tell that bumps are being made. This prompts fellow pilots to comment, nice flying plane, since it appears that it flies hands off straight as an arrow, even in the wind.